Animals in Winter by Henrietta Bancroft and Richard G. Van Gelder, illustrated by Helen K. Davey. The days grow short, the nights grow long. It is getting colder, winter is coming. Leaves have fallen from the trees. There are no berries on the bushes. Insects are gone. The grass is dead and brown. Birds and other animals are getting ready for winter. Some of the birds will fly south. Bluebirds and orioles go toward the south. They go where it is warm and sunny and where there is food for them to eat. When spring comes, the birds will make the long journey back north. They migrate. Some butterflies migrate too. That is what the monarch butterflies do. They gather in a tree by the hundreds before cold weather comes. They stay in the tree all night. In the morning, they fly toward their winter homes in the south. Many bats fly south too, but some bats stay in the north all winter. When the weather gets cold, they go to a cave. There is no wind or snow in the cave. The bats sleep there all winter. They do not eat. They live on fat stored inside them. They do not move. They hardly breathe. They sleep, sleep, sleep. They hibernate. Woodchucks hibernate too. When fall comes, a woodchuck eats and eats and eats. He eats grass, twigs, and leaves. He grows fat. When it gets cold, the woodchuck crawls into his long tunnel and goes to sleep. Does he sleep for a day? Longer than that. Does he sleep for a week? Longer than that. A month? Even longer. A woodchuck can sleep as long as four months. The woodchuck seems hardly alive. He breathes very slowly. His heart beats slowly. He sleeps, sleeps, sleeps. He hibernates. Some animals do not have to hibernate. They gather food and save it for the winter. That is what a pika does. A pika looks a little like a rabbit, but with round ears. Pikas live in high mountains where winters are long and cold. They eat grass. In summer, they cut more grass than they can eat. They spread the grass on flat stones. The hot sun dries it. By the end of summer, a pika may have gathered 50 pounds of grass. She hides it under rocks. In winter, she eats the dry grass. It keeps her alive. Squirrels gather food too, and save it for winter. They dig holes in the ground. They bury hickory nuts and acorns. When winter comes, they dig them up and eat them. Sometimes squirrels forget where they bury the nuts. Trees may grow from the nuts that squirrels forget. Some animals do not get ready for winter at all. They do not store food. They do not hibernate. They do not migrate. They must hunt for food all winter long. There are mice that must hunt all winter for seeds of goldenrod, asters, and other wild plants. Sometimes they eat farmers' corn, oats, and wheat. Deer must dig in the snow for dried leaves, plants, and moss. When the snow is deep, they must eat the twigs, buds, and bark of trees. The rabbit must hunt under the snow for bits of grass and plants. When the snow is deep, he too eats the buds and bark of bushes so he can stay alive. In the winter, the fox hunts for mice and rabbits. This fox has discovered a mouse in its tunnel beneath the snow. When the winter is cold and the snow is deep, 
Many animals cannot find food. Here are some ways you can help animals in winter. Make a peanut and popcorn garland. Hang suet in a plastic net bag. Stick fruit and cheese pieces on a dead branch. Nail a seed tray with drainage holes to a fence post. Nail a sunflower head to a post or fence. Make an apple, cranberry, raisin, and orange garland. Make sure feeders are placed out of reach of predators. Put a birdhouse in a tree or under the eaves of your house. Hang an ear of corn for squirrels and chipmunks. Plant shrubs with berries for food and shelter. Please remember, once you begin feeding birds and other wild animals in winter, you must continue. They are depending on the food you supply. Eventually, the days grow longer. The nights grow shorter. It begins to get warmer. Spring is coming. And that is the end of the story, Animals in Winter.